All right, so G. G. Jackson scored 23 points in 29 minutes against the Golden State Warriors, and um, he's gotten a fair bit of uh, attention online just because he looked super starstruck having Shaquille O'Neal give him a shout-out on the broadcast. Um, but I haven't evaluated G.G. Jackson before. Um, I'm not really sure who he is, to be honest. Um, so second-round pick in 2023. So it's pretty awesome to see a guy show out with that those sort of relatively humble beginnings. All right, so let's see what kind of game he's got. Number 45. When does he come on? Oh, okay. So here he is. Creating some space, getting open for his teammate, immediately attacks the closeout, is past his man. What is he going to do? Can he go up over Draymond? We'll see. He can! I'd like him to get inside and help on the potential inside shots here a bit more. I'd like him to read what's going on in the off-ball action a little bit quicker. I'd prefer him to be about here, um, to cut off that, and then if that guy chooses to go baseline and Draymond's ballsy enough to pass it, then he's still close, close enough to his opponent to clog up the passing lane. But instead, he just lets this play happen without disrupting it, and then he's on, on the chase thereafter. And yeah, so that's kind of on him. He's got to he's got to stay in front of the play. Can he catch and shoot? Yes, he can. That's outstanding. Hand in his face, knocks it down. Got a great great form. Attacks. The number one way to see if a player is undisciplined or not is if they jump on a closeout because the chance of blocking it is very low compared to the risk that you'll f jump and foul the shooter, giving them three free throws if it's beyond the three-point line, or if the, it's, all it takes is a little pump fake and you can drive past a guy jumping on a closeout. Um, just don't do it. There's no need. All right, attack it, stay grounded. Look, at the end of the day, the battle is already lost if this guy is wide open, right? So he sunk to, I know I told him to, he's got to sink lower to protect against the basket. But look, at the end of the day, you want to shut down a layup over a three because threes are much more difficult to make. So he should, so just don't jump, stay grounded. It's not going to affect the shot that much. And again, you risk running into the guy. See, all, all this number two had to do is kick out his right leg and that's a foul. Right, so that's very undisciplined play. There's Kaminga showing off his athletic prowess, which you know, I've covered Kaminga on my channel before. He's got great athletic ability. He's got some decent offensive moves, but just doesn't understand team concepts enough for me to want him to be on my team. See, there he is jumping again. close to a foul doesn't really defend it properly enough to defend you know Clay's bloody lights out man that's that's a nice pass 
See, this guy has to sink lower to protect, because Canard's not a threat from there, all right? This guy needs to sink lower, and then if Canard gets the ball, it's a close out. But because this guy is so high and can't help out the rest of his defense, this guy can make this pass, and then Clay's got to try and recover. See, Clay's a little bit more grounded because he's aware that um, Jackson could drive on him here. Still kind of leaves his feet, which I, you know, not ideal, but this guy can shoot, man. Great form. Yeah, lights out. Now he's finding a rhythm. There he is, sinking low. I love to see that. Love to see it. But would have liked him to commit a little bit more because he, Curry beats this guy. And so there's a block waiting to happen if Curry tries to reverse layup. But instead, um, who am I watching again? Who am I watching? G.G. Jackson um, retreats from a potential block. So, don't know what he's doing there. So, he's got these fluoro shoes on, so he's hard to miss when he's on the court. So, he's back on after this play. So, it shows an ability to move off the ball. And you know what that does? All it takes is Almar... All it takes is his teammate to... See, Va Jackson notices his player coming up here, so it's, it's better for him to cut through so that this guy has more space to work with. But this is a catch and shoot. Saric doesn't close out on it properly. Saric doesn't read it. He could have picked this off if he was more alert. See, Saric should, at this point, see that like, this guy's leaving his feet to pass the ball, so you can commit to trying to steal it, but he's too slow. And Almada knocks down the shot. But regardless, the effect of Jackson cutting in here is that there's less, there's less traffic for Almada to worry about his shot being blocked or anything and um, can get it off. And now, if Almada misses, Jackson's creating havoc in here, um trying to get the offensive rebound. So how much would I pay Jackson per year based on what I've seen so far? Maybe like 12 mil a year because I haven't seen much ability to create off the bounce, but he's definitely a catch and shoot guy. Shows some understanding of defensive team concepts. We'll see if he, we'll give him a few more plays, see if he's got any more in his bag. Probably closing out a little bit too much here. He's open to a back door. In which case, you know, if Wiggins circles around and these guys screen for Wiggins coming around here, then Jackson's already a step behind because he's he's too aggressive in this closeout. In fact, I would probably move up a bit closer to the um, the wing part here rather than the corner because that actually messes with Curry even being able to get this pass off anywhere. So I'd be up here. And then I can help on against Curry once Curry's beaten Jackson here. But anyway. So he's off. Oh no, he's on court here. So he seems like a bit of a... Yeah, just... He's content with playing his role. Yeah, I'd probably pay this guy about twelve million dollars a year. So how does he get his points? Is it just was it just on threes? Because I don't see much ability to dribble the ball. Um, having said that, you know, like I haven't watched. This is the first bit of tape I'm watching on him. Um, and but you know he's had plenty of court time. It's four minutes into the highlight video. So if you haven't shown me any ability to make buckets off the dribble based on this nine minute highlight video, then maybe you just don't have that great of a dribbling ability. Again, that's, that's not very conclusive, but if you've got insane dribbling ability, I feel like that would have shown up in the highlights by now. Again, a lazy way to evaluate, but 
if you're in the business of evaluating thousands of players to try and find the best players in the world, no matter where you're playing, where they're playing, um, you need to be flying through these players. And so I haven't, just haven't seen um, much off the dribble ability for Jackson. So if he hit five threes, so that accounts for 15 points. We'll watch a few more plays. I'd like him to cut through here. Yeah. Decent player. Nice pickup. Second round pick. You know, again, like a guy 6'9", 210 and can jump, I think, is always going to have a leg up over some guys who don't have that sort of physical stature and athleticism. Um, but he's got some good basketball fundamentals. He can catch. He can shoot. He can move a little bit off the ball and um, shows pretty decent defensive awareness. Now, is he an above average player in the NBA? Probably not. Um, but, you know, he, he can have a long career in the NBA just by doing what he's doing now. Is just showing some sound defensive concepts and being an absolute lights out shooter. It's just, you know, when defenses get tighter, you want a guy who can create off the dribble, and I just haven't seen any of that from him. So he's got some work to do to be a a big time player and get more interviews with Shaquille O'Neal um, but you know he's for a young guy you know 19 years old he's definitely got some promise that's my verdict 